I know your blood are hot. Uh, come forward. Come forward, everybody. All ye naysayers of the good work in Onishanambra states, come forward. Uh, gradually, come forward. Uh, stop pushing one another. Just calm down. Uh, stop being aggressive. Okay, just come forward. Okay? Uh, they sit in the front. You can sit. Uh, make yourself comfortable, okay? Uh, uh, calm down. We are going to answer all your questions. Just calm down. Make yourself comfortable first, okay? Thank you. Uh, and now pay attention. So, the reason for this meeting is to tell you all what you already know or what you do not know or what you already know but you are in denial okay we are not here to fight just calm your nerves all your questions are going to be answered hey, thank you very much now having known the reason for this meeting i want you all to please carefully answer these questions sir at the extreme please sir at the extreme yes you are the one i'm asking are you living in Onisha? no okay you are not living in Onisha. eh eh you're not living in Onisha. have you visited Onisha before ah no okay how come you are criticizing what you don't know? Okay, sorry. L let me not talk about that one. Let us answer the question first. Thank you, sir. I got you. You're not living in Onisha. You have never visited Onisha. Okay. Thank you, sir. So, sister at the front. Sister, yes, you are the one I'm asking. Okay. Do you live in Onisha? Eh? I can't hear you. Okay, yes. You live in Onisha. Ah, that's very good. Currently. Okay. You live in Onisha currently. That's very good. That's very good. Ah, brother, that is very uh, black. Please calm down. Once it gets to your turn, I'm going to ask you, okay? Just calm down. Okay, now, bro wearing green. Yes, you that is wearing green. Uh, answer me. Please, uh... Uh, how much do you know Onisha? Have you lived in Onisha before? Yes. Okay. No, I don't understand. Uh, my question is, have you lived in Onisha before? Oh, no. No. Have you visited Onisha before? Okay. Yeah, yes. You come, f you visit Onisha frequently. For what? For you visit people or for business? Oh, business. Business. Very good. What, uh, what do you sell? What do you come for Anisha for? What do you come to Anisha for? Is it shoes or clothes? Oh, clothes. Okay, okay. Ah, that's very nice. That means you are familiar with uh, everything going on in Anisha. Yes, I know. I understand. I know very well anybody that frequent Onisha for business is almost like somebody that is living in Onisha. So I got you. I got you. Thank you very much. Ah, Abba, bro, that that is wearing black. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> You've been raising up your hand since. We are not fighting. We are just here to clear some uh, some issues once and for all. Okay? It's now your turn. Have you lived in Onisha before? Or have you visited on the before yes i'm listening sir oh oh you are from onisha no wonder no wonder you are from onisha now now i know the the reason why you are so uh you are being so aggressive but calm down calm down okay uh, things are different now so just calm down so where do you live currently Abroad, oh, abroad, no wonder. Uh -huh. The reason you are being so angry and aggressive 
as if you want to beat all of us is it because you have seen uh, beautiful countries and working system how things are done there uh, calm down okay we will soon get there okay we will soon get there just calm down thank you for answering my question ah you are from onisha but you live abroad that's very nice that's very nice ah thank you so much sir thank you so having known all these things some of us are from onisha like this brother that live abroad yeah and um, some people come uh, for business purposes and you know like i said before anybody that frequent onisha for business is like somebody that lives in onisha that person can even explain onisha more than more than people living in onisha so yeah i will categorize the person coming for the people coming in for business and people living in onisha yes i will just put them in the same place okay uh, you can as well sit together okay uh, thank you uh, for the people that have never visited onisha or they have never lived in onisha they are just judging based on what they read on the internet uh, you people need to sit, sit a, a little bit at the back because we, we will address your own we address your own issue because it's a special case okay thank you now without further ado let's um let's dive into it so before i i start please uh, i would want all of us to be silent and allow me to talk okay i am the one that called the meeting so i would want all of us to be silent and allow me to talk okay unless i ask you question thank you thank you so much for understanding now eh, i want to understand the angle of your naysaying because i don't understand i i find it very difficult to understand someone seeing prosperity and in the midst of prosperity you are doubting this is not audio or this one is not something uh, abstract this one is physical something we can touch something you can see and you are still saying nay i want to understand in fact forget about it forget about answering forget about answering I, i'm going to go straight to the point okay because i might say something this brother wearing black at the extreme he might stand up and come and slap me okay i'm going to say go straight to the point i just hope by the time this meeting is ended all of us will be good very good okay thank you so much I am not here to talk in favor of anybody okay like somebody said to me one time um, ago some time ago that um maybe somebody paid me to promote this administration <laughs> no i am not even talking about them um, what we are not seeing everything i am talking about is something that we can feel we can see and touch regardless of what we think or how we see it these things are practicals that it is not being done the way you want it does not mean it is not happening okay it is happening it is a reality it is working in favor of all of us the only thing I am begging all of us here is to to stop comparing, okay? To stop comparing. Once you stop comparing, you will start seeing the good and perfect side of of Onisha. Onisha is no longer what it used to be. Onisha have gone far, far and very far. Things are very, very easy, easier today like it has ever been. It, you know, eh, sometimes the reason why we castigate or, or talk down on good, th good things that is happening around us is because of the mentality that has been there all along. 
or because of uh, how we have been betrayed before that even when we see something we still feel like it's going to end up in betrayal so that is why i am here to clear us we need to remove our minds from negativity and try to see things the way they are we need to face reality the reality is that we are in a better era we are in a system that is working just open your eyes in fact all these people, all these naysayers, all of you naysayers, your eyes are open, you are seeing, but you are still in doubt because of uh, past betrayals. Please open your heart this time around. I won't tell you to open your eyes. Open your eye, your heart. When you open your heart, you accept this good that is happening around us. You will stop saying nay and accept that our governor didn't demolish the whole of Onisha to build a new one. If he had done that, a, a lot of you naysayers will still criticize him. Okay? He, there's no way he could have done that to demolish everywhere. Hey, that's when you see, yes, this man is working. No. It's not possible. Okay? It is not possible. The way he is doing it is the perfect way, and by doing it this way, he has it shows that he has so much respect for the day to day business that we do in Onisha. If he had done it like most of us uh, thinks he is supposed to have done it, business would have been altered, and some business would have closed for for like one or two months. And people will still complain. So the way he is doing it is is shows that he he have he has us in his heart. Okay, he is interrupting business, but not exactly the way he could have done it if he did this work exactly the way naysayers are saying. Okay. I know that all of you naysayers are doing this as a result of uh, past betrayers or if had, your trust has been uh, messed up, you don't want to trust again so that you won't get your heart broken. So I am encouraging us to open our hearts because this is a new dawn. There, this is a new Onisha. A lot is being done on the ground. As I am talking to you all now, deaths are still being removed from gutters. Yes, deaths are still being removed from gutters. Because if I should rate it, I would say that 70% of uh, drainages were blocked. Hence, you see roads being destroyed every day. Even when they patch it up, they will destroy it. Okay, just these uh, yesterday that it, it rained yesterday, and I went out. You could hardly see uh, see see mods. I mean, see uh, these dirty waters that always uh, circle in circle on the road on the major road and things like that. I hardly, I didn't see them. It's not that they are not going to be, you're not going to see them if you start looking for them. But it's just that things are very much better than it used to be. And I bet you, after this rainy season, by the grace of God, you people will see it for those of us living in Onisha. Okay? And for all of you that do not live in Onisha, I'm going to be updating you guys. Okay? All I want all of us to do is to calm down. Especially you, brother, that is from Onisha, that lives abroad. Calm down, okay? You're going to be proud of this uh, government, all right? The only thing we have to do is calm down, open our hearts, stop talking down, 
speak speaking positive positivity into positive things that is happening already okay and we all will be fine we all will be good okay do you all understand it i hope all of us are in the same page now <laughs> thank you so much thank you for so much for giving me your attention mm? yes our meeting is closed i won't say if you have question because you don't supposed to have no 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 if i say you don't supposed to have questions it means that i am not a good analyzer i'll be a good teacher so if you have question please put it down in the comment section and do not forget to thumbs up this video mm? and also tell me how i did in the comment section did i try in this uh, monologue <laughs> did i try how did i do thank you for watching see you in the next one